Hey everybody, I'm the Linux Gamer and I just played Hitman Go Definitive Edition. It's a strategy puzzle game developed by Square Enix Montreal. Hitman Go was released February 23rd, 2016, receiving a day one Linux launch. This review was made possible by my gracious Patreon contributors. Thanks guys. Hitman Go emulates a tabletop board game. It has a highly polished look with a miniaturized aesthetic that is instantly recognizable. Each puzzle is laid out on a gorgeous cross-section of what seems like an architectural model, little figurines dotting the tableau. There's a coherent feeling to the title. When your figure collides with another, the audio feedback is incredibly satisfying. Or disheartening. I find the skeuomorphism here completely appropriate, which is an uncharacteristic thing for me. Typically skeuomorphic designs are a huge turnoff for me, but here I find the expert design helps the game tremendously. Hitman Go takes the tabletop design seriously and implements it so well that I have nothing to complain about. The animations are very well done and give a sense of physicality to the figurines. The original music for this game is incredible. However, when I was live streaming this game and I was on a mission to assassinate a mark, the song Ave Maria was playing and I ended up getting content ID'd, which really sucks. When it comes to playing the game, Hitman Go does not disappoint. You start off selecting the boxed version of the game you want to play. These are akin to worlds. Each box set has a different look and feel. In the first, you're mostly outdoors, tasked with assassinating some rich playboy. In later box sets, your job is to kill cult leaders and the like. Upon selecting the world, you're greeted with a stunning miniature model. You pick your puzzle here and you move on to the cross-section diagrams we talked about earlier. You move your figure along the black lines. You can only move between these nodes and each time you do, the enemy gets a turn. Some enemies will just stand in one spot, some will move in straight lines, and others will rotate 180 degrees each turn. You can only approach enemies from the side or from behind. If you move within their line of sight, which is the node directly in front of them, they will kill you. Your job is either to make it to the goal or kill your mark. You also have secondary objectives that change with each puzzle. Sometimes you have to beat the level in 12 moves or less. Sometimes you can't kill anyone. And sometimes you have to retrieve the briefcase. You can move the Hitman figure onto nodes with rocks or tin cans. These items can be thrown onto empty adjacent nodes and will attract the attention of nearby enemies. This is great for creating diversions. There are many other items and puzzle elements like potted plants, color-coded keys, and disguises. Each of them ratchet up the complexity of the game. Hitman Go has no performance issues and plays well on my GTX 970 powered desktop. It's based on the Unity engine, but in spite of this, it runs at quite a high frame rate. Hitman Go is a complex and challenging puzzle strategy game. It has the depth and difficulty to keep me engaged for hours. I'm a huge fan of the game's aesthetic and its turn-based gameplay. Though this is most definitely a mobile port, the graphics, the strategy, and the controller compatibility elevate this inexpensive title above other so-called casual games that often feel like cynical cash grabs. If you enjoy strategy games, you've got to play Hitman Go Definitive Edition. It's available for Linux through the Humble Store and Steam. Links are in the description. Have you played Hitman Go? What do you think about it? Leave me a comment and let me know, or tweet at me at the Linux Gamer. You can also become a contributor over on Patreon. Feel free to check out the rest of my channel, including my previous Firewatch review. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and share it with your friends. And make sure you subscribe to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. Thanks for watching. Is my shoulder obscuring that door? No. Okay, so you can see like the white trim? Yes. Okay, good, because that'll make it a lot easier. Alright, um, so. Yeah. That one didn't feel very good. I just like fell on it.